Hello, I'm here with Ghost Ogres, Ned Atlas. He won locals. Locals. Twice. <laughs> Twice. With what deck, Ned? Flower Guardian. Flower freaking Guardians. In Master Rule 4. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Right, let's get right into the profile there, Ned. Right, so, first off, I want to preface by saying this is not a good deck. You wouldn't even want to call it a rogue deck. It, it's a bad deck, but it has one very good card, and it's a very funny deck. So, first off, free pine. Uh, on summon, it draws a card if it's a flower card, and it keeps it, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's destroyed by battle, or a card effect, it draws a card. Um, they're all essays of texts, okay? What you need to know is that they draw cards, and that's about it, okay? And then they'll gain an effect off of that. So next, free curtain. Uh, if he's in hand, you can reveal him. Uh, draw one card, if it's a flower card, and he gets summoned. Otherwise, they won't go to grave. Uh, second effect is a bit like a shit version of Honest. Um, never comes up. So, moving on. Free Peony with Butterfly. Uh, Tribute's a Flower Cardian, summon itself. Uh, on summon, draws a card. If it's a Flower Cardian, you look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order, or put them on the bottom. Uh, so it's like Spiral Drone, but with a lot of setup. Who knew? Secret Tech. That's what you, you want. That's what you want. Yeah, Secret Tech. And then it's the tuner. Whenever they're used for synchro summons, they all become level two. So, yeah, nice little card. Uh, free ball. Same thing as Peony, but if the card you drew is a flower card in, it can destroy one monster on the field. Doesn't target. And then, uh, free deer. Exact same as ball, but for spells. Then, two zebra. Uh, this is where it goes a little off track because this summons whilst you control a level 7 or lower Cardian and then when it gets summoned you can basically mulligan any number of Cardians in your hand. So it, it's not that great but you play it just because it's a flower Cardian. <laughs> and then best card in the main deck is Free Willow. So it just summons if you control a little 10 or lower flower Cardian which is basically every Cardian. And then once per turn, it can shuffle a card in from grave into deck to draw a card. And it's not a hard once per turn, so you just do it about six times. Nice. Best card in the main. <laughs> and then one uh, calligrapher, so you have to tribute a willow to summon him. And then on summon, he draws a card, and if it's a flower card in, he can summon it. But only if it's one of the ones that uh, can... He doesn't ignore summoning conditions, so it can't summon all of them. But it's a nice little card. And then two... Uh, forgive me, I can never pronounce this guy's name correctly. Uh, basically, if you control a level 11 or lower, he summons, which again is any Cardian. And then, if he's targeted for an attack, you can end the battle phase and draw a card. Which nice. will never come up unless you're playing someone who's really stupid. Oh, it happens. Yeah, it happens, it happens. It's locals, mate, isn't it? And then free stacking. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's exactly what it says. It takes three flower colonies from the deck and stacks them on top. And then during the, uh, you can banish them from the grave except the turn it was sent to add a flower card in from grave to hand. Uh. So, nice little card. And then free flower gathering. Uh, summons four flower guardians from the deck. Broken! A bit busted. Small bit. Yeah, but it's in Flower Cardian, so it's yeah. really fair. <laughs> well, it would be banned if it was in, like, I don't know, Crusadia or... Yeah. Like... yeah. Someone's four... No, it has to be the four specific ones on the arm. Oh, okay. But, still, so many four monsters from the deck should be amazing, but it's Flower Cardian, so it's yeah. fine. And does it locks you into Flower Cardians, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah pretty so much. Can't... Pretty much all the flower cards. Yeah, that'd be busted, because you just activate that and go into Royal Sword in game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, free Recardination. This is probably the best spell. It uh, adds a flower card in from Grave to Hand, and then summons a flower card in from the hand, ignoring summoning conditions. And it doesn't have to summon the one that you add. Okay. So, 
And it's not once per turn, so you can use it over and over. Okay, a bit busted. Yeah, and then um, if it's uh, sent to the grave by the effect of a flower cardian, because it's not a flower cardian like card, if it's drawn by a cardian, it won't. They can't. You can't keep it in hand. It'll go to grave. It will look. You excavate the top five cards of your deck. Add any spell, regardless of if it's a flower cardian card or not, and put the others back in any order. So nice little card. Really, really nice. And then free koi koi, koi koi, you know. Uh, Excavate the top three cards of your deck. Summon any flower cardians amongst them, uh, ignoring summoning conditions. And if you hit any spells, you banish them face down and take a thousand for each. And yeah, so if you do stacking for free cardians and then koi koi, you just summon free cardians. That's fair. And then the second effect like almost never comes up where you can uh, banish this, tribute a cardian, and summon a cardian from your hand, ignoring conditions, but that like never comes up. Uh, one beginning and the end. Um, don't play this, play Pot of Avarice. Um, that's all I have to say on that card. One desynchro. Uh, don't want to play the FTK, so I'm not playing uh, more of this. And just resolving this, because <laughs> all the flower cardians aren't a hard once per turn. So can just resolve Willow multiple times with it, make another flower cardian, continue to play. It's really funny. Uh, one moon mirror shield, because you search it off I sold. I sorry, not search it, send it off I sold. Yeah. Because all of them are randomly warriors, so one rota. And one wants to be born. Yeah, and that's standard. Yeah, that's uh, it for spells. On to the extra deck, we have the reason this deck is even playable. It's free board fly. It's like Vela, Vela. <laughs> it's like Dweller on crack. Oh, it's crack's not very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dweller on short term crack. Okay. So you banish a flower card in from grave until the end of your opponent's next turn. They cannot activate cards or effects in grave and cannot summon from the grave. So it says a big fuck you to Lunar Light. It's, it says that's a lot of decks, really, in yeah. this, especially in this format. <laughs> yeah, uh, really nice card. Basically, the only reason the deck's playable. Uh, free Moonflower. She's the right. She's the most like recent one to come out. Uh, came out like a year ago, I think. Uh, once per turn, you can excavate the top card of your deck if it's a flower card in special, ignoring summoning conditions. And it's, it's cool card. Cool card. You know. Uh, it's, Honestly, you find yourself using it's kind of a bit of a win more, but like like I said, the deck isn't amazing. <laughs> uh, free light shower. This this card's hilarious. Oh, this card's like I win in time. So you make it with four of your flower cardians, and then during the opponent's draw phase, if they draw for their normal draw, you burn them for fifteen. So yeah, light shower for game. I don't know. And then uh, oh. flower cardians you control can't be destroyed by card effects or targeted. How many times did that come up as a win card? Uh, yeah. At least four times. Four, jeez. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's very funny. I did it. I've done it multiple times to the guy who owns this deck. Oh, yeah. That's bitter, Phil. I know. Yeah. Betrayal. Yeah. Uh, two light flare. Oh, this is a pain in the backside. <laughs> Five thousand attack. I know. Yeah. It's a really funny card. So it requires you to. Make it with five flower cardians, which is hilarious because you combo off for 20 minutes and end on just this guy. But, um, Mega fleet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so once per turn, he can negate the activation of a spell trap. Mm. And then uh, anything he battles has his effect negated. So he can't get ball loaded, which is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if he, uh, if this synchro summon card leaves the field or blah, yeah, yeah, you know. Same thing, they appeal on a shitload of cards. Mm. He can uh, float from the extra deck into this dude. Ooh. So this dude dies, summons this dude, you burn him. That's what that would be being. Yeah, it's really funny. And then for the links, one I sold, because they're randomly all warriors. Standard stuff. Yeah, you can search uh, one. You, you know what I sold those. And then one link Karibo, because, you know, sometimes you just normal summon that little dude and then you pass. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Going into side, um, I did not build this side at all. This deck, I did not build this deck at all. This deck is built by a friend of mine 
who I loan, who I get a loan of the deck off of all the time. So please don't hate me for the side as it hasn't been updated in about three formats. Uh, free Ghost Ogre, because you know, repping the team, Ghost it's Ogre. It's your girl. Like a best hand trap in the game. Jesus. But, uh, yeah. uh, you know, um, you know, I, I didn't create the side, please don't hate me for it. Uh, one DD Crow, one Ghost Bell. Um, never played this, played this a few times. You know? Uh, free Lancia, because I'm pretty sure this side deck is about a format out of date. So, <laughs> never, never played this. Uh, Those tons of dragons, they're coming back, man. Yeah, they're, they're coming, coming back. back. Someone tried it, you know? I mean, it would wreck the more than heroes. Yeah, so. uh, two raw. Did play this, because you often can play without your normal summon. Uh, very funny, very funny. Also made up for the fact that he only gave me one Dark Ruler. So, you know, it's not even a complete side, but fuck it, we'll roll with it. Yeah, you, know? you know I draw more than one of those anyway. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's, it's dead, mate. You're dead. exactly going to see it sometimes, but not all the times. Yeah. yeah. 2D barrier, because again, oh, we want to see it sometimes, but not all the times. Then That's one anti spell. One oh, Jesus. Oh, this is just not a good side deck at all. I know, I told you, mate, I didn't build it. Oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> I, I didn't fucking build it. Let's see, I don't even know, understand some of these choices, but sure. If it, I, if neither, it, neither do I. You know yeah. what? I don't think I've played this card once. <laughs> it's understandable. I know, yeah. In theory, I could, but I have never played it once. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, finally, a few shout outs I'd like to give. Right. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, Comic Vault and Red Bull. Thank you very much to you guys. Uh, shout out to the guy who always lends me this deck, Rob. Thank you very much. I would not be able to play this deck without you. And shout out to all the other Ghost Ogre guys and Shane, who's filming me right now. So thank you guys. Bye.